Hey guys, Technomanager with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix if you cannot connect to your Wi-Fi or having issues connecting to your Wi-Fi on your iPhone. In this video, we're going to show you guys some tips and tricks to troubleshoot that. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of the newer iPhones, like the one I have in my and at a great discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The first thing you want to check whenever you're troubleshooting for Wi-Fi connectivity is your router. So router is that device that allows the phone to receive Wi-Fi signal. And the way to check it is go to your actual device, make sure it is actually turned on and it's running. Sometimes the power can trip or it might be disconnected. And if it is connected and it is powered on, go ahead and take it off from the power source to turn it off and then give it about 30 seconds to a minute and then connect it back on. So what this will allow the router to do is get a power cycle to make sure, you know, if there was any issues with the router, it will clear those issues. The next thing you want to do is actually verify that you have internet even though you're connected to the actual router that your internet provider actually is providing service and to do that simply take another device that you know uh, is working make sure that wi-fi is connected there and you can get internet whether it be another iphone maybe your laptop or your tv if it's connected to wi-fi and make sure the internet is working that's just one thing you want to do and then uh, along with that is if even those things are working for sure um you notice that you the uh, router is turned on you want to make sure the router has the latest firmware so over time if the router is really old or if it needs a firmware update make sure you uh, update your firmware on it and to do that simply consult your router uh, software manual book to do that next thing you want to do is make sure um, your actual Wi-Fi is turned on to make sure that is turned on if this is the button you want to check on the control center on the newer iPhone simply go ahead and turn on and off the Wi-Fi here when it's blue it's on and when it's grayed out it's off so you want to make sure that is on the other way to do it is going into setting and once you're in setting you're going to click on Wi-Fi and make sure that you are connected here you see your Wi-Fi network come up here and once you do that you should have it next thing you want to do is you see that it's connected but you're still not getting internet or any data simply go ahead and forget that device that you have click on that icon and then forget it and once you forget it again you're going to want to reconnect again to that wi-fi simply click on it and it's going to ask you for your password you're going to enter the password and hopefully that helps it fix it sometimes what happens is you might be connected and the password has been changed by someone or the there is a new password make sure you have that password on it on your device next thing you want to do if all those are not still working is actually do a reset of the network to do that simply go into your settings once you're in your settings you're going to go to general and once you're in general you're going to go all the way at the bottom and then go to reset and here as you can see there's a bunch of options for reset be careful with this because this is important that you don't click on the wrong one you want to click on the one that says uh, reset network settings so once you click on reset network setting it will delete all network settings returning them to factory default so if you ever connected to any sort of network any sort of wi-fi besides the one that you're connected to all that passwords and everything will be completely reset so be careful if you do that stuff know that all the passwords for any network you ever connected will be reset and you'll need to re-enter that so we're going to simply click on that here and once you do that you'll see the apple logo and the reset is happening this will allow the phone to really reset all of the network setting it had ever on the phone and this is a good troubleshooting step and you're going to wait till you see it get back to the home screen here it might be black for a second or two so you're going to have to wait till the screen here gets back to the home screen for us and you see the apple logo here it's still going through the full reset of the network settings and this really does help the phone clear out any sort of network setting that could prevent it from connecting to wi-fi once you have done that and you're still not seeing that you're not able to connect to wi-fi the next thing you want to do is a reset to do a reset of your you're going to do a restart which is going to be a normal reset 
To do that, simply you're going to hold the volume up and side button and here on the newer iPhone 10 and above. Once you hold that up, you're going to see that slide to power off. Simply you're going to slide that and wait about 15 to 20 seconds for the phone to fully shut down. This will allow the phone to power cycle and clear up any issues that it ever had. So once you have done that, you're going to hold the side button here on the right hand side that you can see here we're holding. Keep on holding till you see the Apple logo and then let it go and let it restart normally. And this restart will definitely go ahead, go power cycle the Wi-Fi antenna and sensors that are built onto the phone. And you can see here we're back to the home screen. If that didn't work, the next thing you want to do is known as a force reset or a forced restart of the phone. This will clear out the memory and the cache. And to do that, slightly different from a restart, you're gonna quickly press and release the volume up and then same thing with volume down and then hold the side button here. Keep on holding the side button. This time you're not gonna slide to power off. Just keep on holding till the phone has a black screen. And once it is black screen, keep on still holding till you see the Apple logo reappear again. And once the Apple logo reappears, let go of the side button. And now it's doing a forceful restart or a reset. This will not erase any data or anything like that. So these are safe from having any of your data wipe. And then check again one more time to make sure you're able to go into settings and connect to Wi-Fi here. Of course, make sure this is turned on so that your Wi-Fi is actually looking for your Wi-Fi connection. And if all that has failed, the next thing you want to do is go make sure your phone has the latest software update. To do that, go into settings, general, software update. And of course, you might not even see this software update if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Or if you have data on your SIM, you might be able to see it. Uh, check for the updates. If you don't have it, connect it to iTunes and make sure you get the latest version of the iOS update. The last thing you can do is a pretty much, uh, if all of that isn't working, is back up your phone and do a restore after you do a reset, which is, a, there's a video that we have done that it takes a little bit longer, more lengthy process. Make sure you get, check out that video. And if none of these methods work, it's probably time for you to take it to an authorized Apple store where they can really check out the internal hardware, run the diagnosis to give you a report of what the issue could possibly be if it's hardware related issue and not a software related issue. So hopefully all those tips and trips help solve your issue of connecting to Wi-Fi. Please leave a like and a comment in the comment section if any of those worked or if you guys have another solution as well. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.